everyone and welcome back to another video here on Borsch where today I'm doing a tier list of all the Zombots in PvZ2 based on how hard they are. So we've got all the Zombots and plans for the Zombies 2 and the tiers on where I'm going to put them in. Eat. You can just look at them and tell what they are and well let's begin. Short intro. But, so let's begin. So first up, we've got the Zombot Sphinxinator. Um, this is like the first Zombot you fight. Well, it used to, you didn't have, used to not have to be the first one you fight. But now, since like, like the newer changes in PvZ2, you actually gotta beat a chapter to unlock the next one. Honestly, I kind of, I kind of like that system more, honestly. I kind of think it's a pretty good system. The Zombot Sphinxinator... He's fine. He can, like, have, like, a bunch of, like, um, freaking explore zombies, try to torture plants, and, like, the Gargantuars will be annoying. I mean, all of them summon Gargantuars, but Zombot Sphinxinator isn't too bad. You get pretty decent plants on it. So, he, he's an easy Zombot. Uh, the Zombot Plankwalker. The Zombot Plankwalker, also very easy. Um, it is kind of annoying when he fires all those imps everywhere. But you get like a bunch of good plants like uh, Coconut Cannon and even Cherry Bomb to deal with him. So you can actually take him out really quick. He's actually really easy. He, He's going in the easiest Zombots tier. Uh, the Zombot War Wagon. Zombot War Wagon. Um, you actually get like a bunch of like Melon Pults and Winter Melons to like freeze him. And yeah, like some of the like Prospector Zombies can be kind of annoying, but... You can easily take them out with, like, split peas or those winter melons and melon bolts. Um. And besides, there's a lot of pea pods you can stack to take them out fast, too. But the fight does tend to, like, progress a little longer. But he's still not that bad. I would, I think, I would say he's probably easier than the Zombot Sphinx in it. So he's going in the easy Zombots tier. Uh, the Zombot Tuskmaster 3000 BC, I think that's what it's called, um, is a little harder because you gotta break ice in order to try to fight the boss, but the boss isn't, but once you fight him, you can chip at his health and get it down real easily and quickly, um, but then again, you gotta break all that ice and there's like hunter zombies, which are really annoying, but you got a lot of fire plants in the level as well, but... Also, like, weasel zombies and those, um, dodo rider zombies are really annoying. So, but, he, he's going in okay, zombots. He's a little tricky, but not the worst. Uh, the zombot aristotic gondola, or whatever it's called, um, is also just, eh, you do, you do get, like, red stingers, which are pretty useful, and AKEEs. Which are good for taking out shovel zombies, I guess, but are not really useful, in my opinion. But, um, you, you do get, like, those, like, boulder pressure plates. I, I'm, I'm gonna call them boulder pressure plates. Um, you can, if there's, like, a bunch of zombies, you can, like, plant a plant. I want to take them out, but it would also probably take out a bunch of your plants, which is really annoying. And some boss will also, like, drop, like, a bag on, like... A fire pressure plate to make like green fire to cut the plants, but um, you also get bonk choys in the level, and bonk choys when you combine them with a plant food can take down a zombot pretty easily. But he he's a little trickier, but not the worst. Um, but he's going in okay, zombots. Uh, the zombot tomorrowtron. Zombot tomorrowtron isn't that bad either. Um, you get, like, laser beans, citrones, I'm, I'm pretty sure you get infi nuts as well, and also, um, those, like, power tiles as well. Um, he is actually, he may not be that bad, because you can, like, use, like, the power-ups on the citrones while he's standing still, or even the laser beans, and you can get, like, a bunch of plants to do, like, a power-up at the same time with the power tiles, but he does... He does tend to take a little bit longer to kill because of the plants taking time to charge up to attack. But he, he's not really that bad. He's 
I'm gonna put him in easy Zombots, though he's a little trickier than the other two already on there. The Zombot Dark Dragon. The Zombot Dark Dragon is actually a little bit trickier because Zombots will constantly like burn a bunch of plants in like two lanes. It will burn your zombies as well, but um, he can also like make like dragon imps come out when he breathes fire. Well, not exactly a fire lane, but breathe out fireballs. But um, he, yeah, you can use he, you get like fume shrooms in the level, which have a pretty good plant food effect and can take them out. And like magnet shroom, magnet shroom gets like a plant food boost at the level, so you can like distract him. But all those zombies are gonna be pretty annoying, especially like the wizard zombies. Um, but I wouldn't say he's that bad. Where would I? Where would I put? Where would I put? Zombot Dark Dragon. I put him in okay or hard? I'll I'll put him in okay zombies. Um, next up we've got the Zombot Multi Stage Masher. Zombot Multi Stage Masher is actually pretty difficult. Um, it starts out rocking with punk music, then pop, then rap, then 8-bit, and finally metal. And you do get, like, cactuses in the level, which are pretty useful. Um, but, like, he constantly, like, um, blares out freaking waves of sound that can take down your plants, which is really annoying. Um, but you can also power up your cactuses and, um, take them down more easily. Well, power up them with plant foods, that's what I mean. Um... And while uh, it may, the final wave may be kind of stressful if you don't got a lot of plants. But if you do, it's really not that bad. Uh, I'm gonna, but he is really still difficult a little bit, so I'm gonna put him in hard zombies. Um, the Zombot, I, I don't know, the Zomb, uh, the Zombot Ditronic Mechasaur, that's what it is. Um, isn't really that bad either. You get like primal pea shooters, which can like stall him. You get bonk choice, which are pretty good. Primal walnuts, which um can really stall zombies for a while. And I think primal potato mines, maybe. And I think perfume shrooms, but I'm not sure. But uh, the zombie diatonic mechasaur isn't that bad. Um, yeah, the zombies. He summons maybe a little annoying. And the dino now the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are annoying, but. You can just, but if you can deal with the dinosaurs, you can easily like push zombies back with the primal pea shooters, stall zombies with the primal walnuts, take down like the zombot with the primal pea shooters and like the bonk choice. And he, he's actually not really that bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in easy zombots. Actually, he's not really that bad at all. And finally, we've got the. Zombot Sharkonic Sub, or whatever it's called. Now, many people would probably think that, like, the Zombot Multi-Stage Masher is the hardest. No, I think this is the hardest, because I get, like, constant, like, Surfer Zombies, constant Octo Zombies. Is a Fisherman Zombies in the level? I don't know. But he constantly, like, summons them, which is really annoying. And, um, Lily Pad automatically gets a plant food boost, so you can automatically get like a bunch of lily pads luckily but sharks eat lily pads and um he's like constantly make summoning zombies and constantly sucking like plants in you can stop his sucking with a tangled kelp getting in his propeller but he is super hard he just constantly spams zombies it's really annoying he he's going in the hardest zombots tier and well uh we're done okay so we're finished, uh, this is my list. In the easiest Zombots tier, we've got the Zombot Plankwalker in easy Zombots tier. We've got the Zombot War Wagon, the Zombot Sphinxinator, Zombot Ditronic Mechasaur, and the Zombot Tomorrowtron. In okay Zombots, we've got the Zombot Tuskmaster 30,000 BC, uh, Zombot Aristotic Gondola, and Zombot Dark Dragon. In hard Zombots, we've got, uh, Zombot Multistage Masher, in the hardest Zombots, we've got Zombot Sharkonic Stub. Um, well, I, I think that's going to do it for this video, you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Borsh, which is me.
Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next vid. Goodbye.